Well, hello, folks, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, first of all, I'm really excited to create what I'm going to call a passive income really series of evergreen. What does that mean? Well, it's going to be a combination of different strategies and tactics and how you can get started really investing in passive income. Uh, I'm sure you have heard the news out there that it's great to be sleeping and making money. That is absolutely true. It's not a myth, by the way. And uh, if this is the first time that you're meeting me, by all means, my name is Liz Soria. I am a tax accountant and also a business advisor. But most importantly, I specialize in two niches, and that is the real estate, because I'm also an investor, but also in e-commerce, in Amazon, eBay, done that too. I do the talk and I do the walk. And I always think that's so important for anyone to know that because even though I crunch numbers and I love what I do, I also need to get in the opposite side of other people's shoes and understand what they go through to gain their experience and what is the turn and error? Because in every industry, there's always something goes wrong, but there's a lot of good stuff to happen. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tell you exactly the breakdown. I'm gonna share with you a lot of things I have learned throughout many years. Uh, I've been in business for over a decade and helped many entrepreneurs for many years. Like I said, they're landlords, they own multi-families, they own buildings, some people own single family homes, um, others have owned mobile homes. Uh, land. Um, and I think in the very first series that you're going to get from this evergreen, and I really mean evergreen because real estate has been around for decades. And uh, we know that wealth has always been produced uh, really by three ways. And the three main exclusive ways to really make more money in passive income is number one, absolutely will always be real estate except if something comes out, you know, in the next 10, 20 years, right? Uh, but then the second part is e-commerce. This has been booming and booming with the last couple of years, especially now that we have seen so many retail stores shut down uh, because of the most recent crisis that we have had. But if we can continue seeing this trend, I'm not surprised. When I got started way back, more than five years ago, that's right, I had my own Amazon store too and I was a private seller, I remember that even when my clients were making thousands and they reached over a million, two million dollars, I used to think to myself, I used to blow my mind and say, how is that possible? Somebody who's just doing drop shipping and you know, exchanging things and making money, uh, how is it that you know, FBA and Amazon, it was just really crazy and guess what? People making a lot of money, it's true, it happens, it is a reality, so in this series, I'm gonna be doing a, a, just a sequence in real estate. And one of the things I'm gonna be talking about, and I'm gonna get started with this very first episode, is I'm gonna be talking about exactly uh, why investing in condos and also uh, versus to single family homes. What's really the true difference between the two of them? And which one is it really a better investment? Okay, so I'm sharing an article about this. Um, I like doing that when I record any kind of episode because I think it helps a lot to read, you know, after watching a video or hopefully you might be listening to me through my podcast. That's right. I have a separate podcast that I share the same audio and I will be linking some of these articles with that uh, in case you want to go back and just go more in depth and, and, and really read the entire article. So that's going to be the very first episode. Now, the second episode, by the way, is going to probably be very lengthy and I mean that because you're going to be surprised that one of the second uh, best investments in real estate besides single family homes and condominiums, it's really manufactured homes. And you probably have been hearing this, um, or, or if you haven't, I mean, definitely this is something that you might want to look at. And that's going to be a very likely, like I say, uh, you know, episode because a lot of things that you need to know about exactly manufacture homes, right? And then on the second part of the series, you're gonna be learning about e-commerce. That's right, we're gonna be learning about e-commerce, about you know the differences between eBay and Amazon and Shopify, because I think this is important. I mean, if you really don't wanna get into real estate, and that's fine, it's not for everyone, you know, and I really, really understand that. Then in that case, 
you might want to have the charge option. You feel more comfortable with, you know, uh, like I said, doing drop shipping or perhaps doing the FBA, which they handle everything for you, right? And you, they obviously they, they make a percentage of your sales, but they do all the shipping for you. They do all the refunds. They do returns. I mean, it's just great as long as you have the right product. Um, and then finally on the what i consider the third part of this evergreen you know passive income series it's going to be really we're going to talk about other ways of alternative investment and what i mean by that is starting your business or expanding your business online and that means whether you're offering your professional services like i do as an accountant that's what i do i don't sell products through you know my firm which i've been in business for over 10 years now online i started in the cloud and i'm still in the cloud meaning that i'm really not a brick and mortar you know uh business so therefore um i this is what i've been doing like i said and you know it's been very successful for me um, so even though I'm in a traditional, right, um, you know, career, but even with that, I think that people who really have expertise and they can share their skills and their experience, whether you have a degree or you don't have a degree, that's the least for you to worry about. There's always something that you can share with someone else. And whether you do coaching, you do consulting, or perhaps in this case, I see people starting to create a lot of online courses, right? Uh, instead of sharing one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is very time consuming, uh, sometimes what they do is they just actually create an online course. And that is great because again, talk about passive income. You know, people could be purchasing your courses and everything is digital, everything is online, right? So it's a really phenomenal way of making money and sharing, right? Sharing your your your, your experience. Why not with the rest of the of the world and i believe that i i would have not learned what i know if other accountants in the past and you know tax advisors would have not taught me through school and you know textbooks and also training online i would have not learned what i know so we're here to share and help everyone right and i think we have that gift in, in a mission to hopefully accomplish um and so in that third part we're going to be talking about really you know like i said forming an online you know uh income where you're able to create like i said whether you're providing uh you know coaching whether you're doing something online maybe whether it's a video tutorial or perhaps maybe you create an ebook or um even entire content you know or information online so Becoming an entrepreneur, it's one of the greatest successes. The, the most I see from all my clientele and from the years that I've been in business successfully running is that there's really three main ways of making passive income. That is true. It's investing in real estate. Like I said, that's going to be a series that we're going to be talking about. And then the second one is going to be about e-commerce, like I said, selling online. And third is about really sharing your expertise and created online courses and eBooks and uh, you know anything else that you can share that you don't have to physically be there uh, to accomplish that. So with that said, that's what we're gonna be going through this. And I say it's evergreen because I think that the e-commerce and all this uh, e-learning platform, which by the way, folks, is an unbelievable by 2025, I think they're expecting more than I think 600 um, if I'm going to say $600 billion, I mean, it's crazy how, how this industry is growing. So, and again, what better that you become self-employed and be an entrepreneur. And if you haven't seen some of my past videos, by all means, feel free to do so. Um, I've been doing YouTube and, and podcasts for quite a few years also. And one of the things I love doing, sharing this kind of information with you, because I believe, again, it's about sharing and about building, you know, a, a, a relationship with which you know, which each one of you, even though I might not never get to meet you in person, this is the closest I can get. Um, and by the way, feel free to comment, you know, subscribe to my channel, it helps me grow and continue to provide all this good, you know, value information to all of you. And also like, comment, thumbs up. I mean, it helps share with your family, with your colleagues. And with that,